What's up guys? I just wanted to give you an update. The reason why I haven't been working on the probe yet is because I don't know if you can tell, but this is a dirt driveway. And the probe is right here. And you can't see it in the dark, but about six inches from the driver's door is a huge pond that my dad built. And then my dad's Ford Econoline 250 and my mom's old Dodge Stratus since she bought her new Ford Edge blocking in my car. Well, my dad tends to be a little bit lazy and he hasn't fixed his car all the way yet and got rid of this garbage Taurus sitting next to my house so we can move the Stratus and I can get my damn probe out. So at this point, i am literally been waiting for almost six weeks for him to move the damn vehicle so that I can get my car done. But I did get some more parts today, which are going to be in this video right after this. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I now have every part that I need to get this car going. And surprise, I've got a Mega Squirt being built right now by a friend of mine. I bought it brand new. It's off of DIYAutotune.com. It's a plug and play Mega Squirt. It's being built with my factory harness plug. And then I'm using a Big Daddy 4 bar map sensor and um, GM. Uh, coolant temperature sensor and then um, I'm going to eliminate my vein air meter and tune it on probably 880cc injectors so this car next year for sure is going to be beast but I do hope to do a little bit of work on it this winter get the new clutch in the new flywheel uh, maybe the new turbo but I want to break into the 13s on this turbo because I know I can I trapped for it with hell of problems <laughs> slipping clutch so um, Yep, I'll show you those parts that I got now, and I hope that you guys can bear with me here through this time of absence and doing stuff to the car. Uh, I will be having a coilover install on the 626 here pretty soon. Can't really see it, it's parked on the street right there through the trees, but um, yeah, so that'll be pretty cool. I'm going to end up slamming the 626 and then throwing the good brand new stock suspension that's in it in the probe until I can get coilovers for it. So. Stay tuned, I got a lot planned, a lot of cool stuff is gonna happen, so just please bear with me. Remember to like, comment, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the little bell next to it so you know when it is that I upload the next badass video when I start working on the boost. All right, so I got some of the final components to be able to finish the probe, to start working on the probe, I should say. And that's only dependent on what I talked about before, but I got my aluminum 240SX radiator, which I'll have to weld up some mounting tabs for, no problem, because I'm a welder now, so that's easy. Um, I got my Felpro uh, Printo seal head gasket. I got my NGK blue wires to replace the ones I took off the probe to just put on my 626, because I wasn't driving the probe, and I didn't want to spend the money and wait for wires when I was having a misfire problem with the, the 626, so that fixed it, and those are just to replace the ones I took off of it. Um, I got a Perrin straight through boost, or a Perrin ball and spring boost controller for the 626, but now I have a Blox ball and spring boost controller for the probe. I've always liked ball and spring, electronic boost controllers, I just don't like trying to dial in duty cycle and deal with the problems and have failures because they had a solenoid failure, whatever. It's a ball and spring is bulletproof and will last 150 fucking years, so I just go with those. Um, these are the cooling fans for the radiator. They're eBay though, so I might be going with some Lund fans, I think they were called. But they're, or Spall, Spar, Spall, something like that. Anyway, um, some of those fans to replace these eBay ones, but um, yep, I'm gonna go aluminum radiator with slim fans so I can clear the GT30R. Uh, or GT3076R housing and then throw this <clears throat> parts on there when I put my built head on um, but the clutch and LSD install is probably going to come first so stay tuned guys I'm sorry for the delays but life happens sometimes and I'm not a big name YouTuber I gotta make money